Alright, let's talk about the maximum length of a concatenating string with unique characters. So you are given the list of string array and then uh, you want to concatenate every substring inside the array and then you have to return the maximum possible length of the X, right? So in this version, I'm going to use the decor search. So I'm going to try every single possibility. And if there is a duplicate uh, character inside the substring, I'm going to skip this substring, this this string to to my answer and then I will just find out what is the current every what is the current uh, length for every single string right and then if this if if the starting index is used right I, I, I will definitely move forward to the next index and I'll just keep everything and this is going to be pretty much it right so for every single string I need, I, I need to check if there's a duplicate character right so I, I will have a function to just keep track, uh, so I'm using a counting array to keep track of the duplicate character. So this is going to be pretty much it, right? And let me start coding. So I do need to return the, uh, the value. So I'm going to call max, which is going to be global variable. And I will just return max right here. Okay. So I'm, uh, I need to uh, use a recursion. This is definitely called deficit. So I'm going to pass in the array list of string and pass in index and pass in empty string. Alright, now I need to call a couple function called dfs list of string array int index string f. So I will concatenate in the substring in the array uh, into the string x. And then I need to create a couple function called what? So boolean and I'm going to call unique. Pass in the string s, so every, check every single string. So check every every character in the in the string is actually unique, right? The so size of twenty six. For so in uh for char sorry for char c to s to char array. And then I'm gonna just uh adding adding my counting array first. So c x c my guy plus plus. So if the C minus minus A and I slash into the two, you will return false. And then at the end you will return true. Alright. So I, I will definitely make this code cleaner later, but I'm gonna just stop coding. So if the uh, unique S S, if this is unique of S, right? So uh unique so unique of S, I need to up, up update my current max length right what happens if the uh, if this is not unique okay. you will definitely need to return and we are using the the deficit recursion so the index could be all the bound right so we have to uh, set the all uh, set the limit to array the size all right so how do we traverse all so i traverse from our well, actually I am not traverse from zero, I'm traverse from index because I already passed in index zero right here. So I understand array of size I plus plus. I'm gonna just call deficit search, I'm gonna pass in what array, I'm gonna pass in index and it's gonna be i plus one. I will move one move on my next index, but before I move I need to add the string together. So I will have a concat concatenate in the string together. And this is going to be pretty much, pretty much it, right? So let me submit. And then here we go. All right, so again, so let's not talk about my comments, but I'm going to make this cleaner. So if you want to just add in, uh, so this line is actually what? Uh, counting array uh, C minus A, and then you increment. So which means you Increment after this line, to be honest, right? So I can actually do like this. C L D C minus A. Adding and which is greater than zero. I will return false. So you will actually compile this line and then after the compile, uh, after the compile, you will just increment the character inside the frequency count. So this is still going to be doable. So if you don't know the logic, so just go watch uh, what is the increment after and increment before. Like there, there are definitely two different meanings. But let's talk about time and space. So for every single substring in the in the in the array, 
in the list of stream, right? You either pick or not pick, right? So you have two two options, and every single sub stream has two options. You either pick or not pick, right? And if you not pick, right, you are going to skip, right? So how many, how many sub stream in the in the rate? It's going to be un, uh, un sub stream, right? So it's going to be two to the n for the time, and then for the space, it's going to be all of n. This is because every you can combine every single string together, right? So this is all of it. And this is going to be pretty much in the solution. And I'll see you next time. Bye.